Hey everyone, welcome to Up On Late DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. In my last video, I made these circus tents for Halloween. And I thought to myself, every circus needs a ringmaster. So today, I'm making the ringmaster. I'm starting with a couple of styrofoam balls that I'll cut a bit from the top to make a flat spot. so that it's easier to stack them, like this. And I'm also gonna take a little bit off the other end of each ball. And I'll cut a couple inches from my cone. This will be his top hat. Having the flat spot on the top will make it easier to attach the cone. I'm using Crayola air dry clay. I'll take a handful of the clay and flatten it with my brayer. Now that it's nice and flat and thin, I'll cover my bowl with it. I'm just manipulating the clay with my fingers, pushing it into the styrofoam and working my way around. I'll tear off any excess and I'll fill in the blank spots with that extra that I pulled off. And I'll do this until the entire ball is covered. I'm rolling it around to smooth it and also to really get it to stick. And I'll do the exact same thing on the second ball. I roll out more clay, nice and thin, and I cover the cone too. I just work it with my fingers, pushing it in and rolling it nice and smooth, just like with the balls. I love working with this clay. It's so easy and it's cheap. I think I got that bucket for like eight bucks. I'll get plenty of projects out of that bucket. Totally worth it. So I just keep going until the entire cone is filled in with the clay. I have three toothpicks here and I'll push those into the flat part of my larger ball. And then I'll push my smaller ball on top. I roll some clay into a cane or a tube or a snake, whatever you like to call it, and I'll wrap it around the gap between the head and the body. Then I brush on a little bit of water and I use my brush handle to smooth the cane clay into the head and body clay. I want it to look like a solid piece. And I use my fingers to smooth it too. I roll a thicker cane, which will be his arms. I just check to make sure that they're the right width. So then I'll cut them in half and to size. And I'll smooth and kind of round the flat edges. I push them into place. He'll have a bend in his arms because he'll be holding his staff. Once they're in place, I use my brush handle to incorporate them with the clay of his body, just like I did with the head and body. I add water if the clay starts to dry a bit. And I just keep working it until I'm satisfied. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but good enough. From another flattened piece of clay, 
I'll use a cookie cutter to cut a circle. This will be the broom of his top hat. I just push it onto his head and I'll curl up the edges a wee bit. Once I'm happy with that, I'll take two more toothpicks and push those into his head. And I push the smaller end of the cone onto the toothpicks. And one more time, I'll fill the gap between the brim and the cone with another thin cane of clay. And I'll incorporate it, just like before. I keep rolling and pushing until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so I didn't manage to get this on film, but I bought these little pumpkins on a stick at the Dollar Tree, and that is what I'm using for his staff. I just pushed it into his hand all the way through to make the hole. Then I took it out and I set it aside for later. I roll a small clay ball, which I'll cut in half, this will be his cheeks, and I'll incorporate them just like I did all the other pieces. Then I set him aside to dry for two days. Now that he's dry, there is some cracking. But if you see my other clay videos, you know, I just roll with it because it adds to the vintage vibe. With Spice Pumpkin acrylic paint, I'll paint his head and his hands. All pertinent information, supplies, and all that will be in the description box for you guys. I'm not really sure what size the styrofoam balls are that I use. I want to say two and a half inches and maybe like two inch ball. I um, got them from a bag with a variety of sizes, so I'm not really sure. But that size is in the ballpark, I would say. His hat and his coat will be painted with charcoal. I'm outlining an opening in his jacket before painting it to mimic a ringmaster fancy tailor jacket where his pants will show through. And I paint his pants warm sunset. Space coat in, we can start the party and get into the details. I'm using a dowel to dip dot his eyes in white, and then I'll use my liner brush to extend them, just pulling out the corners a little bit and filling in the gaps. And I run a line along the bottom to flatten it out. He gets a wee triangle nose and charcoal. His mouth is a simple curved line from cheek to cheek. I 
and he gets little apostrophe eyebrows. His jacket will get two stars on the front and will also outline with white stripes along the opening. White stripes for his pants and his cuffs. Let's give him stars on his cuffs too. While I'm at it, I'll give him tails and a star in the back of his jacket. I cut this diamond stencil with my silhouette and with a cosmetic sponge, I'll pounce it in with white. I did my best when I was removing this stencil, but some of the paint came off anyway, so I'll just fill that in. Using a brush handle, I'll dip dot his eyes with charcoal, and with my liner brush, I'll paint 31 in the diamond. White dots to highlight his eyes. I also gave him a couple of white teeth. Didn't get it on camera though. I dry brush his cheeks with amber glow and his chin too. Putting a curved line under the highlights with rain gray and I'll outline his eyes and give him character lines and outline his nose with rain as well. I'm going around his features with Amber Glow for some dimension. Adding some charcoal stripes to his pants while I'm at it. Why not? With floating medium and amber glow, I'll give him his bumps. I dip my brush into the float and work it into the bristles. I side load by scooping up some paint onto one corner of my brush. I stroke it onto my plate to get that gradient of color. And now going completely around his head, I'll follow the natural curve of his face and then after I'm finished with the amber glow, I'll come back in with some rain gray. You know, I like to build my color with layers. I add curved strokes from line to line, top and bottom, to give a raised impression to his bumps. And I shade his hands and under his cheeks as well. Also, under the opening of his jacket. Dip dotting along the diamond with rain gray. Such an easy way to embellish.
I got the stars and along the opening of the jacket as well. So here's the staff, just a wee pumpkin on a stick. I'll use a marker to give him a face. A couple of triangles and a circle and he's good. I was going to stain this guy, but decided to dry brush him with Hippo Gray instead, working the paint into the cracks and creases. I'll use Mod Podge to seal him. And using fabric glue, I give him a hat band with this pretty ribbon. I'll wrap some of my cray paper garland around his neck, gluing it into place. I'm using fabric glue, but hot glue works too. I'll snip off the extra and glue down the ends. And finally, he gets his staff, which will slide right into that hole. I tied some baker string around it to embellish. There he is, all finished, totally digging him. He's the perfect complement to my little circus tents. Can't wait to display him. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I sure had fun making this fella. If you like what you saw, and I sure hope you did, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, tick the bell icon for notification of future uploads, Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you want to see how to make the paper garland, check out the link in the description box. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.